What is going on everyone? My name is Titus and today we're playing some more spin tires here on the river map. Now, um, I said I was going to be using a Dodge Ram or the 4D I've seen before. Well, this is actually a different truck. This is a work model Dodge that I just downloaded. I actually do like it. Like I said, it's the work model so everything is completely stock. There's no upgrades you can do to it. And there also is a flatbed. Now, if we go ahead and start this up, go ahead and start it, take us out of advanced mode. The only thing I do not like about this style of the truck, well, the mod I guess, it's not really the style. If we go ahead and just park it right here, we should be able to apply the trailer. Actually, maybe not. Let's, uh, let's position a little bit better. There we go. Now, we can install this trailer, but if you notice, the trailer does not have like these side railings at all. Which kind of does suck because we got to be a little more careful when we drive. But um, I think we could probably do it. Now let's go ahead and let's try to go to our spot where we backed up again on this bank. There we go. And then let's put in reverse. Hopefully try not to hit the S10. Now if you guys already seen the S10, um, I did change that up as well. I, uh, this, I think it's called like the naked body, where this doesn't have a hood, and then I think the bed is different as well. I think we're, that should be good, right? Actually, let's back up just a little bit more. There we go. Put the parking brake on, and then let's just turn off the engine for now. And then let's take a look at the Chevy S10. Now, I personally like the Chevy S10 a little better than the, uh, the stock one. This is, yeah, it's called the naked one. I just like it because it, you can have like a view of the hood and you can see everything that's under it like the motor and stuff a uh, ton more attachments you can actually put the regular stuff back on but I don't want to do that looks like there's tons of fenders and stuff that you can mess with um, I want to take I'm gonna take those back off looks like there's the KC bar we can put on um, I'm gonna actually put on the light bar you could put on a dual light bar you know that's pretty cool I'm, I'm definitely doing that and then let's go um, with the wide tires again that way it has like a better chance of staying on the trailer. So let's go ahead and start this thing up. Take off the parking brake and let's put in the lower gear. That way we can get around all this mud a lot easier. This thing is, I, I have a feeling it's definitely louder. Yeah, this truck is definitely louder. We're gonna have to probably put on the all wheel drive locks. And then let's put it in reverse again. Now, last episode we did take some damage on the Ford. It did piss me off because we we're almost done. Actually, we're gonna stall out there. We we're almost done with the uh, with the hauling episode, and then right at the last second we stalled out. Let's uh, start the engine up real quick. I just want to make sure uh, that we're in a good gear. Let's put ourselves in high gear. I know that if we try to move, we're just gonna stall out. I, um, but I just want to make sure that this truck is secured. Now, too bad we cannot apply the winch to this truck. Because as soon as we change trucks, it'll just take it off. Um, can we try actually from here? No, it definitely can't do that. So, let's go ahead and start this truck back up. This truck's already squatting a lot. Look at that. Like I said, I'm almost 100% positive that this uh, S10 is going to fall off. Let's put this truck in the lower gear. I'm going to try to stay out of automatic as much as I can. I really do like this truck though. I know it is the basic model, but uh, it is really clean looking. It is the Mega Cab as well. So far, we're good with the S10. I'm going to try to avoid every single rock possible because if we hit a rock, I just have a feeling that uh, that the S10 is coming off. It already seems like that front right tire is about to come off. I mean, this truck is really wobbling. That's why I'm trying to take my time. And if this S10 does happen to come off, I'm just going to continue with it because I don't want to keep readjusting it. Still trying to dodge all these rocks. Now, I I may go a lot slower with this dodge because, again, um, the S10 it just kind of worries me. We're already, like, popping wheelies with this truck. Now I just realized, since we're getting a dangerous water level here, we're more than likely going to be sinking this dodge when we cross the river, like last episode. Try to dodge all these rocks as well. 
Um, I might try to put it into a higher gear once we get up this hill. Definitely going to be trying to pop a wheel up here. Maybe not, actually. I'm surprised we didn't. Okay, this is probably a good idea to put it in high gear now. Take off our diff locks because we're getting the lock system right there. So far, it's pulling just fine. I do like how it does have the clear cab lights instead of the orange. I'm not really a fan of the orange stock cab lights. Let's turn on our headlights, actually. Just regular, yep, I like that. Everything's basic on this truck. Um, like I said in one of my episodes, I think it was like with the K20 or something. Um, I wish they didn't really make lifted trucks. Maybe it wasn't with the K20. Actually, you know what? It was uh, when I put three trucks together. The Ford, the Chevy, and the Dodge. I really do like it when there's stock trucks in this game. It's kind of more of a challenge to get through. Now, I am going to put my diff locks on going through this. Going to go into the lower gear. That way we can actually have a s constant speed going through this. Now, I made the mistake by going right this time. I'm just going to continue going straight through here. Try to take as much land as possible going through here. We are going really slow. Oh, we're tipping. Um, that's bad. You know what, let's try to cut right here. That way we don't tip that S10 off. Definitely do not want to do that. Yeah, because I was going to take this hill as well, but after we just seen that S10 tip like that, don't want to do it. And now here's this truck that we can unlock again, which I guess is always good, just in case we do happen to get stuck. Because like I said in last episode, I don't really think this S10 is going to be pulling a diesel with a, a, uh, a trailer. Not really having any problems getting up this as, as well. I think as long as we're in a lower gear, we're not going to be getting stuck with these trucks. These trucks are definitely... Definitely have enough power to be pulling all this. I kind of do want to take this S10. I also have an S10 and a Ford Ranger that I want to put to the test. Now, I don't think this would be the map for them because more than likely they would be getting stuck all the time. Wait, actually, was this the right we took? That was a mistake. I just repeated it, so we may be getting stuck here. Maybe not, though. Yeah, it's getting through it just fine. I kind of like it when our headlights were on. Like I said, this truck is really clean looking. It would be kind of cool if we could fold up or fold out our tow mirrors, since we are pulling an S10 here. You know, actually, a really good test would be pulling the Case IH, but I don't think the Case IH would fit on the back of this since the wheelbase is so wide on that. Really, kind of getting into that deep stuff right now. The Ford did have an advantage with those beefier tires, and it also had a pretty decent suspension lift on it. But this stock, this stock Dodge is getting around just fine. I really do want to put it into the higher gear again, but that's just going to make us spin. And I don't want to keep spinning. As long as I'm moving at a consistent speed, I'm okay with that. Our S10 is like really sideways right now. I'm surprised it hasn't flipped yet. Um, is there like a smarter route here? Not really. I guess we're just gonna have to take our time going up this. Try to dodge this rock. I think it's actually pretty cool that you can break rocks in this game. Now once we get up here I think it's all smooth sailing from here. Kinda spinning out here. You know what? Yeah, there we go. We're just fine. Now, after this, like I was saying, it's all smooth sailing. We could probably put it into that higher gear. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm surprised we're not getting a warning yet for having our diff locks on. Actually, maybe the higher gear wasn't the smartest idea. It always seems like when I put on my diff locks or take off my diff locks and change gears, it's like I always get stuck. I'm always wrong when I'm doing it. Um, yeah, we definitely need to take off our diff locks because we're getting that brake lock system right there. I'm really surprised we're already getting dangerous water level. I don't think we ever got that going through any of this with the Ford. Now, I think uh, when I do another episode of Spin Tires, I'll probably definitely be doing these uh, these hauling episodes just to change it up. And I really do like doing these hauling ones. The uh, first one I did was I had a lot of fun doing it. Now, I might also be doing some 
Grand Theft Auto mods. I did stop doing the Grand Theft Auto Let's Play. I thought that series was actually kind of boring myself. Um, but I might be doing like the LC PDFR, which is a police mod, and go around Grand Theft Auto being a police, or else I might do some car mods. I'm not too sure yet. But this this truck is definitely squatting. I do like how it is a long bed mega cab. Something about this, it just seems so long. I know that's what she said, but I do like this truck. Said it multiple times already, and I am a big fan of that S10 in the back. Yeah, we're definitely just rolling some coal here. We still are in the higher gear. I'm going to put it on our diff locks going through here. This truck is not fast by all means, but, I mean, we haven't been stuck at all. We've, we've gone pretty slow. We need to take off our diff locks, but, like I was saying, we've gone slow, but, I mean, I don't think that's a big problem. I might actually put it in automatic. I said I want to keep it out of automatic as fast as I, or as much as I can, but I think automatic might make us go a little bit faster. But the only bad thing with automatic is it takes away your diff locks. So I may just keep it in second gear because we haven't needed, we haven't had the need to go down to first yet. I think if I have to go down to first again, I might just put it in automatic. But I do like having. Uh, manual gears because like I've said before when the all AI driver drives he changes gears really weird from like first to second now I think it'd be cool if there's a mod where you can go all the way from first to fifth gear instead of just having low and high I'd find that really neat right here we're probably gonna have a little bit of trouble so I'm gonna stick to the left side as much as I can Still surprised that this S10 is hanging on back there. I'm gonna put it in the lower gear. I said I was gonna put an automatic, but I want to be able to have the diff locks. Actually, I never realized that my diff locks were off. I think I could have probably made it through here in second gear or high gear. I do want to turn on the uh, the triple light bar on that S10 at the end of the video. That's pretty neat. We're really getting down into the deep mud here. That or we're bottoming out. Yeah, we're bottoming out right now. I think we did the same thing with the Ford trailer. See if spinning or turning our wheels left and right here helps. We are getting the dangerous water level, which is quite sad because I don't really think we're in that deep of water. Almost seems, yeah, our trailer's not even flooding, but the water comes up to our rockers. This truck has a constant sound when you're going in the same gear. I'm not going to change gears because we're probably just going to slow down if we do that. Once I get up out of this mud bank, we'll go back into the higher gear. And I could probably turn off my diff locks too once we get up there. We're kind of sliding right there. I'm not too sure why. It's like our ass end is going right while our front end is going left. And there's something about these dually trucks I I just enjoy. Okay, so we finally got out of that mess. Let's uh let's get out of all this bumpy stuff first before I decide to turn on the or before I decide to turn off the diff locks and put it into the higher gear. There we go. Let's put it into the higher gear now. We're probably gonna get a diff lock thing. Yep. So we'll go ahead and turn that off. We still haven't taken any damage. Actually, we did. Somehow we took one bit of damage. I don't know if that was from the water or not. Let's see if we can beat the Ford. The Ford had, I think, 12 damage points. I'm not too sure. Definitely getting a lot of hopping right here. Now, the only part I'm worried about with this trailer is there's like a down part over here where the S10 on the Ford started shifting. But so far that S10 hasn't moved a bit. I don't know if that's because we have it in a higher gear and not the parking brake on. I'm not too sure. I may put on my diff locks. Actually, you know what? Does automatic make us go a little faster through here? Oh, indeed. We're, I guess we'll just keep on automatic until I need to shift into a different gear. Because we're in fifth gear. Hopefully we don't bog down here. I like the speed that we're going at. Nice and fast. Now, right here, I'm going to put it back into second gear, which may have been a bad idea. We may need to actually go down to first gear. 
Yeah, let's go down into first gear. That way we can get up this hill. Because I don't want to have automatic with no diff locks going up a hill. We just might make ourselves stuck. Now we're bottoming out the dodge right here, but we're still getting up the hill just fine. Hopefully that S10 does not slide backwards. Like I said so many times, the S10 is actually being really stationary in the back. Once we get on this land, we can probably put it on the second gear again. Just make sure our trailer's out. Actually, that's automatic. You know what? Let's just keep on automatic. Once we get past this garage, uh, I think we made our own trail in the brush. So we'll just do that again. Um, let's put it back into second gear going through this. Yeah, it looks like our front right tire is almost about to hop off of the trailer on that S10. Okay, um, you know, we're just going to keep it. Oh, nope, that's a bad idea. We just stole our engine. We'll keep it an automatic then going through this brush. I don't think we should have a problem going through it. Try not to go over a rock in here. Alright, definitely going to put it in first gear. Now, this is the part I am I was saying it's going to get really scary for the S10. I will not be surprised if it comes off. I really wish that you could put, like, toe straps on it or something like that. That'd be very neat. Yeah, going down this is... I don't know. Maybe it's just going to roll to the front, which would be okay. But if it tips at all, we're, we're screwed. We'll just dig down here. Actually, you know what? That wasn't too bad at all. On that Ford, that S10 really s slid in the back. Okay, so we are definitely going to be drowning this truck. There's no way in hell that we aren't. That we will not be doing that. We'll just keep the diff locks on. I guess if we're going to drown the truck, we're just going to drown it. Hopefully, we don't get it to stall out. I may put it into the lower gear. It sounded like right there, he's just going to kill it. Yeah, right here is where it usually gets deep. Actually, you know, that's not... Oh, never mind. Our cab's underwater almost. Yeah, we just got 42 damage points, 50 damage points. We're definitely going to be taking damage through here. You know what? I can't really count this. I'm not even going to count that as damage. Because that's not really fair to the Dodge since the Ford had a lift on it. So, so far we still really truly only have one damage point, but we actually have 257. Gonna put on our diff locks again. I don't know why it makes us take our diff locks off right there. Won't be surprised if we take some more damage here. Uh, I need to take off our diff locks again. I'm really surprised at the uh, places you need to take off your diff locks. Yeah, we just took four damage there, eight. Yeah, we're gonna even get more damage. Once we get up this little part where it's all shallow right here, actually. We're not even moving. Let's uh, put in that lower gear before we take too much damage. Or we can't actually do anything. Don't tell me this is the spot where it ends. Oh, no. Um, okay, can we reverse really quickly? Okay, I think we may be done with this truck. Really hoping we're not. Oh, no, we're stalling out our engine. Automatic, can you help us? Yep. Well, this is... I think the end for this truck. Oh, wait, we're... Okay. Well, the engine is broken. You know, this is probably... It's a good screenshot. There we go. Let's, uh... Let's get on this S10. This S10 is actually shifting right now. Let's start this bad boy up. Let's, uh... Put it in automatic or reverse. Now, I'm gonna try to reverse as fast as I can. Before we take any damage. And then let's put it in, actually, you know what, automatic's a bad idea. Let's put it into the lower gear. We already have our diff locks on. Let's try not to get stuck here. I'd like to continue just a little bit on this path. Too bad that the Dodge got sunk there. What I should have done is try to pull it out. Actually, can I, you know what, I'm still going to do that. I'm going to try to pull it out with this S10. Let's turn on our light bar. Oh, that's disappointing. The light bars don't even work. 
Okay, right there we should be able to attach. Can we actually do that? Okay, we can. Let's rescue this thing. At least to land and then we can call a tow truck. Put it in the lower gear. Please tell me. Can we at least move it? I don't think so. Yeah, so I was right about that. We can't move that at all. We'll just continue with this S10 though. This S10 actually gets around really good. Let's put it into the higher gear. We'll probably just rip through all this. Probably gonna need to take off our diff lock, so I'll just go ahead and do that. I really am disappointed though about the the uh, the light bar is not working. Let's put it in automatic that we can go a little faster. Because I don't think it gets muddy up here at all. Actually it does. You know what? We don't even need our diff locks. Holy hell does this truck have power. It's really hard to control actually. Yeah, I definitely need to put this in a video with the Ford Ranger. Let's uh let's at least try to hop on the road. I'm just gonna go ahead and turn up this truck. There we go, that's much better. Well, it's pretty obvious that the Ford did better. Now I don't know if that's because I had to lift. I think it is because that Dodge it, it just got flooded. I mean, there's nothing we could do to save that thing. I couldn't move it at all. The S10, I just tried to pull it. We just couldn't even do that. So, definitely the Ford performed better. Now, there is a, another Dodge that I want to try to test it out. And that will probably be, well, what's today? Today is Sunday? No, Saturday. So, and then Monday and Tuesday is Minecraft. So, Wednesday will probably be testing out the new Dodge that I want to or it's not a new Dodge actually, it's a Dodge that we used in a recent video, but uh, hopefully that Dodge can perform a little better. Anyways, I will see you guys next episode.